Hello everyone, welcome back to part 2 of this episode and as you can see we are in a pretty good position at the moment um, so we're going to continue on jump through to the next sector two more sectors to go before we go up against the flagship let's see how we're going to go this time, I'm looking forward to it we're going to go through the rebel stronghold this time we need to heal up at some point uh, but I'm pretty happy with our weapon setup at the moment and we've picked up a lot of scrap on our way and we have a relatively experienced and strong crew as well not too threatened by this considering they don't have shields uh, we'll use our iron blast on their weapon system and we'll keep that on auto fire we use flat cannon uh, on their weapons as well and we'll set up our beam to just cut across these four rooms here We'll take a little bit of damage to our engine due to the mind control, um, but this ship will go down relatively quickly. All three flat cannon have the miss, so we're going to have to wait until the whole beam goes down, and we get the win now with that. Use the drone part, which is good. Picked up 43 scrap, and a couple of fuel, and a couple of missiles too. Up to 29 missiles, so it'd be really good if we could uh, find an opportunity to sell some of those off. Going to try and hit. Uh, Two more beacons before we get to the store. We've got intruders on board here at the moment. And so we could send our rock man down here to deal with the doors. Uh, get our guy out of there and just start to let oxygen drain from the rooms that they're going to attack. This stage the only threat really is to our weapon system. Um, they're going to spend a lot of time breaking this down and they just discover that the other side has no oxygen either. They do get into our oxygen and they can start to attack it now but they're going to want to get out of there as well. Um, probably going to have to fight up here now so I'm going to start to let oxygen disperse back throughout the room. Now we're going to want to get our energy down. Oh, they've left the room with the fire. We sent our mantis in and our engine and we should be able to mop this up without taking any damage which is good. I need to pull this Engi out of here. She was taking all of the damage, but we do get the win here without losing any crew members. We need to put this fire out as well. Uh, doors were down. Now we're going to be able to suffocate the fire, probably the best way forward. Uh, we will let oxygen get back to the weapons room so we can start worrying about fixing that up. Fire goes out now. Might jump to the I don't want to jump to the next beacon until we have a bit more scrap before we get to the store, but it's probably not wise to do so uh, when there's a solar flare nearby and our ship is sort of all over the place. Could pick up a crew teleporter uh, and look to do a little bit of boarding. Might actually do that so that we can take out that single missile that was doing so much damage last time. Uh, and we're going to need to look at maybe pick up another Mantis crew member at some stage in the future as well, but we'll grab the crew teleporter. This is your ship's final system, are you sure? Yeah, I mean, it's, it's this or we go for hacking, but I'm going to go with the crew teleporter. Um, and we'll fix up with the scrap that we've got. Going to need more reactor power. Um, let's sort some of this out. Get the two Engi up here to fix that. This Engi can fix the weapon. Yeah, we're going to need to upgrade our reactor a bit. We're going to need to get level 4 shields as well. and maybe upgrade our cloaking once or twice too. Everything repaired, everyone can return to their stations and we can continue on this voyage. One, two, yeah, probably we'll jump here before we move forward, um, just because it's a bit sparse down here. We will sell 15 missiles for 45 scraps, it's a great um, event for us. It's not a huge amount of scrap considering we win that on a fight, but we're not using the missiles for anything anyway, um, so it's a pretty good outcome. Do we have two borders here? I'm gonna try and start them out quickly. Hopefully we won't lose our oxygen. Uh, let's level the doors up. Make it a little harder for them. I'm gonna enable cloaking quickly before it goes down uh, to just get eye on and it to get hit as well. All of our weapons are ready to go. They don't have shields up at the moment because they've been ion. so let's use our ion blast and our flak on the weapons and hit these four rooms with our hull beam. So a good bit of damage dealt there, flak comes in does even more. 
They are trying to take out our boarding at the moment, so we're going to send our mantis in to try and help with that. Uh, probably our rock man will come in too. Doors have been ion, so we won't be able to get the oxygen back in there. 8 missiles, 3 fuel, 29 scrap. We won't accept that. Um, 29 scrap isn't really enough in this game, I think. Okay, we pick up 55 instead and the 3 fuel as well, so glad we didn't accept that one. Let's let oxygen uh, filter back, and let's do a little bit of repairing on our cloaking. Iron pulse imminent, hopefully it doesn't hit our, our engines and it won't halt our efforts to get out of here, so that's all good. Everyone can return, and we'll jump forward. Automated ship with two levels of shield, that's okay. Uh, unfortunately our shield is still iron, they're about to come off so we should get level 2 back surely. Luckily their missile missed just then. Uh, we're going to enable cloaking quickly. To take a bit of damage to the med bay but that's alright, level 3 shields are back. So let's use our iron blast and flak to take out the shields. Their shields go down, now we use our beam to cut across these three rooms here. And a bit of damage done there which was good. Did lose cloaking just then. Um, that's okay, we should be able to take this out. Hopefully without missiles doing any more damage. Probably should have switched the focus and taken out their weapons. Yeah, it did take two damage unnecessarily there, that was my bad. Now we've hit their weapons and they uh, won't be able to do any more damage to us. Pick up 66 scrap and 3 fuel, so that was a really good outcome. A little bit of repairing to be done here. Probably could have used a combat drone to get that going a little bit quicker. And everything seems to be in good order. So level 3 shields are going to cost us 180 plus the reactor power. We only have 4 more available reactor power. Um, so we're definitely going to want to put them, the two of those in shields. Probably at least one of those in cloaking, maybe two. Um, and then one more in, in one of these systems probably. Picking up a Zoltan crew member would be handy. So we get that extra power. We need a healing opportunity soon. Okay, so straight away they're trying to get away. We're going to get our combat drone out there. Um, Listen, their mantis and the Engi to deal with this. Okay, whole beam's nearly ready. Combat drone, don't have enough power for. Now we do. Combat drone's out there. We're trying to take their shields out. They're unfortunately taking out our drone system. across here. Got a little bit of damage done which is good. Their oxygen's gone down which is very handy. Gonna win this fight here. Um, what have they got? Two crew members left. They beamed that last crew member back in. They did. Uh, we should switch the ion onto their weapon so they don't take any more, uh, get any more shots away on us. The enemy FTL is charging but we're gonna get the win here. Should have cloaked there. I didn't. Uh, picked up 62 scrap, a couple of missiles and a drone. I need to pause more in battles like that. The battles are starting to get harder um, and I didn't pause enough there. So I'll make sure I pause in future and make the right decisions. We've got all the time in the world to get through this, so I will make sure I do that. That is my promise to you as my viewers. Up to 250 scrap now, which is good. Hopefully there is a store in the midst. 180. I'm gonna I'm gonna risk jumping. Um, even though we could upgrade to level four shields now, but if we do so and then run into a store with no scrap, I'll be disappointed. This looks like it should be a relatively easy fight. They've cloaked, so we're gonna close. We won't be able to board, so I'm gonna take a power out of boarding. Um, because they have no oxygen on their ship. So we'll put power back into the engine. And we'll get ready to send our combat drone out there now as well. Our weapons will soon be able to start charging again, which will be good. Yep. And we're going to save up to fire both the ion blast 
and the flak at their shield, get that down, and the beam can cut across them relatively quickly. Both weapons now fired onto their shield, that's good, we'll get the beam away here on four rooms. Down to three damage though, unfortunately. Uh, down to three holes, sorry, that is. Need to get this shield back up as soon as possible, so we're going to get three people in the shield room making that happen. We're down to just one health now, need to cloak to prevent them doing any damage. And I'm going to actually jump away as soon as I can here, hopefully before they fire one more shot. No, we're going to get the win. Wow, we're on one health, really close call. Uh, 53 scrap, one fuel, and a part, and we hit the jackpot because there's a store right there. So we got really, really lucky there, guys. Wow, one health, we get to a store. Fix all, I'm not going to fix all, but I'm going to go pretty close. Really thought we were in trouble there, so that's good. Do we want another attacking drone? I don't think we do, but we will pick up backup battery. I don't think we can pick up backup battery, actually. We already have the maximum amount of system, so... Oh, no, backup battery doesn't take a room. That's okay, that's why my controls are blocked out. Maybe we want cloning? I don't think we do. Picks up to 20. Let's leave it at that. Have a look what we can do with this ship. So let's jump to this distress beacon and then the exit. And we're getting really close to being able to power up this level 4 um, shield. We're going to send our rock crew member in. Contact the survivors, and we've got a shield charge boost to augment, and 73 scrap. We want the shield charge over the scrap recovery. I think we do, because we're getting near the end of our run, and we nearly are at full build anyway. I'm going to leave the scrap recovery arm goodbye. It's paid for itself now. Um, and we're going to take the shield charge booster, which will be good. And we can now rock our level 4 shield, which is good. So what have we got? Uh, three more reactor power available. We're going to put, I reckon, two in cloakings. So that's 80, and maybe one in crew teleporter, which is another 110 plus maybe another 100. So, so we need to get to 220. We'll be happy. Let's jump to the exit now, and we've got one more sector to go now before the flagship. Go looking for the rebel ship. We find it, and we get ourselves into a fight. Combat drone can get out there, Ion Blast and Black Laser are at the ready, they both fire. Fortunately they missed, let's save them. And now their shields go down. I'm just gonna wait because I reckon by the time we fire the beam the shield will come back on, so let's hit it. Now we've hit it, now we've done damage, great. And can we get four rooms in like this? Can we get five rooms? No, we can get four uh, with engines being one of them. I think that's the right way to go forward. Cut across there nicely. They're trying to get away, but they won't because we hit the engine. Measly offer of a surrender, which we won't accept. And they go down after a couple more shots from our combat drone of flat cannon. 65 scrap, that's good. We can now jump to the final sector, which is pirate controlled. Only thing I really would like to get is an extra crew member or two. Let's try and get to these two beacons before we get to the store. I think that'll give us enough scrap to pick up a couple crew members, but also make the upgrades that we want to make. We will hail them. 10 fuel for one drone part. That is an incredible trade. Thank you very much for that, gentlemen. Buying a Mantis for 25 is a really good deal, and I don't want to get into this fight because they have level 3 shields, so we're going to buy one slave. Welcome to the crew. Our guys aren't even on their station. There we go. So Turing happens to be really good at engines. Is he better than Arfi? No, they're the same. So Turing is going to be our designated fight squad. I might even consider making Luan T our designated fight member too and sending out Engi down here to man the shields. Even though we lose the skill, the 10% benefit, I uh, want to have two Mantis as our boarding crew. 
so this is going to be our current setup uh, if we get one more crew member I will hopefully get a mantis and we can put him here uh, and send the shield guy back and send the Ingi guy back up to the top left but for now this is how we're going to roll we can get here then the store then down I reckon and then we get that long jump so let's do that although if we go to the Let's go to the distress beacon and then the store. I am going to really quickly Google this one because I have a lot of problems with the giant alien spider event in the past. Okay, so we can randomly lose one crew member if we send a crew to help or we get a high amount of resources and scrap. We don't want to risk losing a crew member so we're going to leave them alone. There's another distress beacon, um, but we're going to go to the store instead and try and pick up another mantis if we can. Unfortunately, that didn't eventuate. None of this we can really buy, so we're just going to have to leave. Actually, is it worth me buying the backup battery? 35? Might as well. Jump here and then to the distress beacon. Hopefully they want missiles or something. Interesting fight here, we're about to be boarded, so we'll send our mantis ready to respond to that. We're going to go into our weapons room, so we're gonna to want to get that fight done quickly. Our two shield taker downers are nearly ready to go, so we'll get the combat drone out there, ion blast and flight cannon onto the shield, so with all of that hitting. Which it didn't. So let's just wait. Save the beam as well. Okay, now we're ready to fire those. And now we can get our beam to cut across a lot of rooms. Maybe we want to do this. Um, definitely want to include shields in there. So if we do it this way, we get two rooms that are. Could we even get five in? We could. That's going to be perfect. A lot of damage done there, which was good. More damage to their shields as well. Keep plugging away at their shields. Solar flare is imminent. And when the beam's able to cut again, it's gonna wipe them out just about. We're not gonna accept that because it's not enough scrap and we don't care for missiles. So we'll take them out right as the fire comes onto our ship. We pick up 72 scrap and three fuel. So good outcome there, good win. These shields back online, everyone can return to their station. Send the Ingi in here to help quickly get the shields back up. Oh, no, they're up, and we're good to go. So let's jump to the distress beacon. Search for the ship, we pick up some scrap and some fuel, which is good. Jump down here, see what our options are, hopefully a store to get that last crew member. Gonna avoid the ship just to save our resources. I mean, we're gonna have enough scrap anyway to to make the upgrades that we want to make. So we'll jump to this beacon here, which uh, creates a bit of a web for us. Asteroid fight. This won't be much of a threat at all. We've got a level four shields. Uh, they've cloaked, so we will cloak. And our weapons can start the charge now, which is good. Need to get that level 2 cloaking up soon. I'm gonna save the combat drone before we get hit by a missile or something. So you fire these two weapons off, take down their shields, and let this beam cut across their ship like that. And auto fire with the rest of it should mean that we take down their ship. They've cloaked, we cloak. We uncloak. They must have had level 2. And the flak here should do enough damage to take him out. Almost. We'll wait for the beam or a couple of asteroids to finish them off. And now they go down, which is good. And 51 scrap and 3 fuel for our trouble. Jump up here, see what options this one buys us. Doesn't seem like we're going to be able to get that last crew member. Another slightly scary version of the last ship. 
Uh, without cloaking, but with stronger levels of weapon. Nearly at a point now where we can take out their shield, which we do. Uh, until they missed. Okay, now our beam can cut across like this. Yep. And we use the next beam to take out their weapon system and we'll also fire our ion onto their weapon system as well so that we don't take any damage. And their ship gets cut apart pretty quickly. They did actually take down all four layers of our shield though, but we didn't take any damage. 47 scrap. That asteroid could have done a fair bit. This is a really rapid asteroid field. I think we'll be able to get to this distress beacon in time. We'll do it. Hail them. It was bait. It was a trap. That's okay. Combat drone. We'll get ready. They'll nearly be able to fire their weapon. It will cloak. And now a bit of damage onto their shield system. Goes there. Let our beam cut across through. Uh, we're not really going to be able to get more than three rooms, so we might as well make one of them the shield room. Actually, let's make one of them the weapons room and the oxygen room, so they have a lot to worry about. Black or missed, unfortunately. But now everything's snowballing for us, which is good. And another hit from the beam here will take them out. That's what you get for tricking us. 64 scrap. Contact the refugee ship. They give us more scrap. We've got more scrap than we can need now. So to max out our reactor, um, upgrade this bat backup battery, put another power in that. So we can now have four power on demand. Let's have a look at this. We want to upgrade cloaking twice, have that running level three. Need to leave two available at all time for combat. Put one here in boarding. So combat drone's gonna go out. Then we're gonna be able to use gain effectively two bow uh, power using our backup battery, which we can then maybe put in engines. So let's upgrade engines one more time. And that'll increase our evasiveness. So that's pretty good pretty good setup getting close guys this could be it this could be my first win of the series feeling good need an opportunity to heal but we'll be okay shield overcharger I don't think we'll bother with that on to the last stand guys wish me luck let's get this done I'm looking forward to it 10 whole point repair and 10 fuel, alrighty. Let's go straight at him. We will touch by a repair station, I reckon. Get the last four points ready to go. They fix us up, they give us some scrap, which we're not going to be able to use anyway. Get ourselves into a fight, which would have we would have obviously preferred not to, but it's okay. Let's cloak, which is us the 15 seconds that we will need to get some serious damage done. I worked our weapons off onto their shields here. Didn't do as much as I would have hoped, but we will be able to hit a lot of rooms with the beam thanks to their layout. Keep attempting to take down their shield. Did lose a couple of points in weapons, but they should be coming back online shortly. Pause more, pause more, pause more. Let's test out this backup battery. Okay, so we picked up extra points. So we'll put them in here into engines. Our boarding has been hacked. We did just miss that. Uh, our pole is about to come back online, which it did. And it'll be a good time for us to cloak. Starting to get a bit of damage out of our black cannon now, which is good. We're ready to use this whole beam in a second. It's going to cut across here. The major damage to a lot of their systems. They're trying to escape. We won't accept their surrender. Mostly out of principle. Backup battery went down. 
quickly heal that. We lost three points of health, so that's not too bad. So I do actually get, so by having that power, we do actually get four extra. I thought we got two extra because it included the two that we were using to power it. So that's good. So what I'm going to do is upgrade a couple of times our engine again. Like that. And that way when we use this here, we'll be able to put four extra points in and really put up our FTL time and our dodge. Maybe I should upgrade power piloting one more time. Let's do that. We're going to keep the medbay unpowered until we need it. We're going to put the point into piloting, which we have done. Hang on, how have I got the extra point now? I used two on combat. That's right. Yep, two on combat when we need it else is powered and then we activate backup battery with B and put the point the four extra points into engine all right I think I've planned that out well enough let's have a crack at this first fight see how we go we obviously need to beat them three times but last time we weren't even able to beat them once so here we are just got to remind myself to pause a lot Alrighty, they've cloaked at the start they're hacking our oxygen again, which is unfortunate. We will now cloak ourselves. And we're going to send our two crew members into uh, their, one of their weapons rooms. We'll probably start with this one here. Which is good. Ion Blast nearly out. Combat drone is going to head out. We would send our Ion Blast and our flak at their weapon at their shields. Missed a lot, that's okay. We'll save them. Stop. That's we're gonna be able to take out that weapon which is good, then I'll beam our guys back and send them into another one. Okay, weapons again onto their shields. Save cloak. Both our weapons missed, so let's stop with that. We'll nearly be ready again to cloak. Shields are coming back online, that's good. And let's cloak, okay, backup battery now, let's put it into engine. Shields are good to go, alrighty. A combat drone is still out there, I think. Yep. We will pull our guys back since they've done enough damage now to that weapon to take it down for good. They won't be able to fix that either. Let's pull the pull them back, they'll go on cooldown. Our shield weapons will target their shields. They have gone down. Okay, now we can do a major amount of damage by going across the hole, but I want to take out the hacking because they're still going for our oxygen. Let's go through like that. Good. Did a fair bit of damage there, which I'm happy with. Backup battery's going to go down soon, so we'll lose all the evade that we've got. That's okay. Hit these shields again. They're cloaked. That's good timing on the cloak by then, but that's okay. Our cloaking will be off cooldown shortly enough. We are losing oxygen, which is really bad. Um, and we can actually power up the med bay once so that we can start to heal a little bit while we're losing to this uh, oxygen deprivation. Now we're going to cloak ourselves. I do need to unfortunately wait on the beam. Got to keep targeting there. Shield, nearly got it down. I've now got it down, I can take out cloaking again and shield the beam. A lot of damage there, we can beam our guys back out to hit another weapon of theirs, which we will. So, thankfully hacking is impacted now, it's damaged, uh, but we are losing one of our crew members. Why are we losing him? Oh, because he's fighting. Yeah, well, unfortunately, he's going to have to die, but it will be for a good cause, because this guy's going to win the fight. But we're losing again due to oxygen. Um, uh, I don't know if I can jump away. I mean, we're still going to lose. Everyone's going to go down. <laughs> Cloak. Oxygen's gone back up, but I'm down to two crew members. Um, okay, we're going to win the first part of the fight, but we're in a real tricky situation now with just two crew. <sighs> Make that one crew. 
<laughs> oh no 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 no. Well Varnus, you're our only hope my friend. We have the parts, we have the weapons, we just don't have the crew, so we can forget about boarding. Um, we might as well heal up quickly before we get out of here. Uh, anyone know where I can pick up seven crew members quickly? Preferably with leveled up abilities. <laughs> oh no. Alrighty. Repair store base. Hopefully at the store we can pick up three crew members at least. Okay, cool, we can. And um, this is good. Alrighty. Beth, welcome aboard. You will be our new weapon person. Julian will be our engine person, Kara will be our shield person once we sell our shield drone and our defense drone, which we don't have the power to use anyway. Kara comes back on board. Okay, so we've got four. Could be a lot worse. Um, Kara is actually going to be our piloting person. Ruffin is going to the engine room. Beth is going to the weapon. Okay, so we have four. It's more than four times better than one. It's not just four times better. This is like ten times better. We have a chance here. We're full. We have good resources. We've taken down one of their wings already. Let's see how we go with this. Alright. We're going to disable the midday. Get our combat drone out there. Get our weapons charged up. Do we have a intruder? Alright. Let's hit this. Fortunately a bit of our flak missed there, that's okay. Gotta fire it again. Okay, now our beam can do some serious damage here. What do we want to go for? We want to go for I guess as many rooms as possible, but if we can do this and take out their drones that would make our life a bit easier so let's do that good alrighty car is taking too much damage car can get out and heal take a point out of engine put it into here get a cloak now as well okay let's send the mantis back in here now I think we're going to be okay here. So let's switch our... Keep our flight cannon on the shield. Ion Blast is going to go to... the drones. And we will keep our... No, we're going to swap our beam here. Do maximum damage. Let's go with that. We should be able to pick them off here, actually. Yep, great. Second part of the fight done. That went a lot better than expected. We pick up an augment that we're not going to use anyway, so we're going to leave it. We don't care for life form scanners at this point. Cool. It's going really well, guys. We've got one more fight to go. I'm glad that went perfectly. Um, I mean, that first bit was obviously the hardest because they had the hacking, which was just, well, I mean, it nearly wiped out our entire crew by taking out our oxygen. Um, and they also had cloaking, which we didn't have to deal with there either. So the combination of that and me remembering to pause enough and actually do the things that I said I was going to do meant that we actually didn't take any damage that fight at all. So, are we just going to be able to pick up this breach? No, let's not get greedy. I was getting a little impatient there. I was like, come on, must nearly fix it up. There's no point, we can't afford to lose 25% of our crew due to me being an idiot. So let's wait out. Alrighty, oxygen will start to enter that room again. Didn't even use my backup battery there actually, which was good. Well, I mean, it wasn't good that I didn't do it, but it was good that I didn't need it. Going here, we're going here. Let's finish what we started. Let's get this done, guys. I'm really excited. This is it. 
they have the super shield up, so let's get the combat drone out as soon as we can. We've got more than enough drone parts. Alrighty, they have boarded. No, they've mind controlled and boarded. Okay. It's not handy. I'm just going to pause and think through our plan of attack here. Probably going to cloak. So that we can deal with this problem here. As soon as this guy... No, I can't afford to do the starvation trick because they'll take out our entire weapon system by the time we do that. So I need to hope that mind controlling wears off soon and our two mantises can win this fight. In the meantime, I'm going to keep firing our arm blast and flak beam at this super shield so we can start to take it down. I just lost a crew member. I just lost a lot. Wow. I didn't realize that they would just switch to attack me and there's now three of them. What have I done? Let's cloak, let's cloak, let's try and work this out. Is there any chance we can win this fight now without weapons and without drones? It certainly doesn't look good. Uh, what can we do? We can level up our doors so that the enemy crew gets starved. We haven't really lost anything vital yet apart from weapons, obviously. Uh, but shields are still up at level 4. That's okay. Oxygen is falling, but it's not falling because of that. It's falling throughout the ship. They've moved into here, we're going to need to have a fight here and hopefully wipe them out. Which I think we'll actually be able to do. Beth is going to need to remove herself. That's okay. Uh, this is not okay anymore. We have one crew member and he's been mind controlled. I think I'm gone. I thought this would be easier than the last one. I was wrong. I was wrong. Everything is going wrong. Everything is gone. <sighs> All crew members died. We were so close. We were so, so close. The worst thing was going down to seven crew members at the start. Uh, going down from seven to two crew members at the start, or one. Um, it really meant that when they boarded just then with three of them and mind control to one, mind control one of my crew members, I couldn't actually win the fight. Uh, it was stupid of me to send the guy in there before the mind control had finished, but I was desperate to try and save the weapon so that we could actually get some damage done to them. Thought that was it, guys. Um, disappointing result. I'm sorry. Thought we were going to get our win there. Uh, we will be using the Engie Cruiser again, and I'm not giving up on this ship layout. Next episode, we're going to get the win. Stay with me. Be patient. Appreciate you checking it out. If you enjoyed it, please leave a comment. Please hit the like button. Please subscribe if you want to see more videos. Till next time, Firebird out. <laughs>